We just need to make sure that the environment, and in addition to those great programs, that the environment is conducive to students being taught how to think, not what to think. Major changes could be on the way for Ohio's public colleges and universities. This after the state Senate passed a bill that targets the way college campuses run. Yesterday's vote comes a week after lawmakers made some tweaks and clarifications to the measure. Carmen Blackwell spoke with the sponsor of the bill and has details on what it could mean for higher education in Ohio. On Wednesday, the Ohio Senate passed SB 83, which would restrict mandatory diversity training, ban faculty strikes, and penalize professors who fail to create classrooms free of bias. The lead item in the bill was to make sure that our universities and community colleges are beacons of free speech, that we do not have restricted speech, that everybody uh, can, can voice their views. Introduced and sponsored by 18th District Senator Jerry Serino, the measure would restrict programs that partner with Chinese schools. It would also ban diversity training, make American history courses mandatory, and mandate tenure evaluations based on if the educator showed bias or taught with bias. He says SB 83 protects a student's civil right of the First Amendment. Nobody should hold back on their expressing their opinions and should feel comfortable uh, arguing and debating and uh, dealing with uh, issues that are important to them. The legislation would also reduce term limits for board of trustee members from nine years to four. Before passing, SB 83 underwent some major revisions, including clarifying that the segregation of faculty and staff based on someone's race, ethnicity, religion, sex, sexual orientation, gender identity, or gender expression, prohibiting it in classroom settings, orientations, and graduations. But critics of SB 83 say the bill aims to solve the wrong problem and believe it will make people think twice about teaching and attending college in Ohio. Today, the Ohio State University came out against the measure, issuing a statement that says in part, quote, we acknowledge the issues raised by this proposal, but believe there are alternative solutions that will not undermine the shared governance model of universities, risk weakened academic rigor, or impose extensive and expensive new reporting mandates. Uh, Russ, the bill now heads to the Ohio House, and the Chronicle of Higher Education says more than 30 anti-DEI bills have been introduced across several states, and that includes Florida, Russ. Mm, Carmen Blackwell, thank you. You got it.